Okay, everybody, back in the basement again. As you can tell, I decided to do another home video, hence why I'm wearing house shoes and not my actual gym shoes. But, anyways, anyways, I know a lot of people have a little difficulty when they have skull crush due to elbow issues. So, I found two things that alleviate this issue. Number one, use a decline like I have here. And number two, use dumbbells. Because what this does is it actually puts less pressure on your elbows and the joint. Because people like me that have super long arms, as you can tell right now, when I try to use it with an easy curl bar or even a oh, especially a straight bar, oh, that's what I want to snap all my stuff up. Couple right high swings. So right now I'm going to show you guys a quick demo. Do it now. So of course you grab two dumbbells, like so. If you're bending some locks, you can put your ankles in, make sure you're locked in. Of course, keep them boys back like this. Be careful as you come down. Arms straight out like this. And back up. And that, that I notice that kind of helps me out when I do this. Kind of think it's a reverse bicep curl on the way down. Or I should have a regular bicep curl on the way down. And reverse on the way up. So like I kind of curl it in and extend out. Curl in, stand out. Curl in, stand out. Curl in, stand out. Alright. Another thing you guys can do is use bands. I can show that in a little bit. Alright guys, got one more thing to show you. Basically, my version of skull crushers using bands and of course using the bioelastic bands. So for this, grab a moderate band, put a handle on these clips for these bioelastic bands. And likewise, I have a door anchor for you guys who want to work out at home. So basically, this is what I'm about to do. Open the door, put this on the bottom, and then from there, start doing my skull crushers. So basically, take one end, loop it through here. You see? So basically, I took it in, put it in there. Now I'm going to open up the door and lock the door. So now you open up your door, slide this underneath. Okay, got the slit in there. Now you lock it. Okay, make sure you're locked in place. So now it's locked. Lay down. Start doing your skull crushes. As you can tell, most of you guys probably won't get a map. I'm gonna show you some half I don't care, so can I keep your Elbows almost like round to the ground at this point. Make sure you get further away, get a little extra tension. So basically, you just have no slack. And now you bring it down and back up. So basically, yeah, when you feel like you can't move anymore, you're good. So down, back up. Down, back up. Back up. So it's down, boom, back up. Keep your elbow, keep your tricep on the ground as much as possible. Down, and back up as close to the ground as possible. Back up, back up. And my recommendation is to kind of do this in a reverse drop set format where you start with that lighter weight and then move up to the weight and then you decrease your resistance or say resistance. So you start off with a lighter resistance and air resistance. Then do a few sets with lighter resistance again, heavy resistance, lighter resistance, and eventually this will shock your system. And of course, you do this at the end of your tricep routine, it will burn your triceps a lot more than even barbell skull crushers. And believe me, I know this from experience. People say, well, it's just bands. Here's the thing. With the bands, you feel the contraction the full, I mean, basically feel the resistance the whole way through in both the concentric and eccentric motion, meaning that, yeah, it's gonna burn like crazy. So. 
Give it a shot and let me know. All right, guys. Actually, I'm not quite done yet. That's the last demonstration, but got something new from Amazon. And I'm taking a little bit of advice from, oh, you in the fitness? When you say get out of comfort zone. So one thing I've been procrastinating doing, but I might as well do now, considering I have my Group X and PT certs, is I start looking into this. Basically, the NS, sorry, NSCA, Shooting Training Coach, I say, hey, might as well start looking at this information. Nothing else has helped me be a better trainer. All right, guys, one more thing. Before I leave you guys for the night, I had to give a quick shout out to my buddy, High Carb Joey. Just saw him in the gym. You know, talk for a little bit. We may do a collab in the near future, but hey, had to give him a shout out since he's been showing love to my page. Be sure to check out his page. Another very good YouTube fitness channel. Links at the bottom of the description in this video. All right, guys, until next time, peace out.